Hey everyone, this is Mac with Octa Workflows. In this video, I wanna show you a neat capability that allows you to create a backup of a folder uh, or a flow. So let's, let me show you how to do that. Um, so I'm this folder backup and I'm gonna create a new flow. So essentially you can create a backup of your work in workflows. Now let's give this a name. So we'll call this folder backup. This folder creates a folder backup. I'm gonna check this option so we can see how the data is passed when we run the flow. Now I'm gonna use a function and then the category that I want is right here, folders. So I have to delete this here. That's from previous run. So folders, you can see it says export a folder. Now you have a similar one for a flow. So you can just do a particular flow if you want, but we're gonna do a folder. Export a folder. And then it's going to ask you which folder, and then it's gonna show you all the for folders you have in workflows. And let's uh, choose this one, for example. Uh, and then this card gives you the file itself, the file name and the size. Now, if we wanna run this multiple times or maybe I should say on schedule, we wanna make sure that the file name is different. So we're gonna use a now function uh, that will help us create a, a unique file name. And then here I'm gonna use concatenate. And what I'm going to do, I'm gonna use the file name and then I'm gonna put like underscore and then I'm gonna use the date. So we're gonna have the file name, underscore, and then the current time. And this of course will give me a unique file name every time. Now the last step is like, where do we want to create the backup? So one option is to uh, use Google Drive and it's actually going to be an app action. And I'm gonna use Google Drive. And then option here is upload file. All right, so first we need to get the name. So this is the file name. And then this is the file content. All right, now there's one more option. So parent folder ID. So if this is uh, left empty, then it's gonna create the file in the, in the root of your Google Drive um, sort of file structure. But it's probably a good idea to put it in a folder. And then we're gonna go to my Google Drive and the folder ID is in the URL. So we're gonna copy it and wrong tab again, here we go. <laughs> and put it right here, all right? And I think that's it. Let's save and let's test. So it's running, we see how the data is passed from card to card. And then right here we see the file name and then there's the file ID. And if I go to my Google Drive, we can see the file was created, all right? We can go back, give this another test. And go back and we can see that another file was created. Now, so most likely you're gonna wanna have this on some sort of a schedule. And then right here, we don't have anything, but maybe you can set it up to run uh, on schedule. So schedule and maybe I don't know, every week on a Monday at 9 a.m., for example, and then click Save. Then Save. And then, of course, this is showing when will when was the next time this flow will run. And we can, again, always go back and just revisit the successful runs uh, before. All right, that's, uh, that's all. I hope this was um, helpful and I will see you next time.